Hey, welcome to a new video. Cartoons are popular worldwide among people of all ages, but did you know that some cartoons look different in different parts of the world? Sometimes the characters or storylines are slightly adjusted to better align with cultural norms and values of a particular country. Today we'll show you 20 cartoons that look different in other countries. Are you new to this channel? Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And before we start, also like the video. Number 20. In the 2013 film, Monsters University, we delve into the daily lives of Monsters, Inc. employees, Soli and Mike. Both are constantly busy scaring children to power the monster world. A notable scene in the film, where the characters decorate cupcakes, offers an interesting topic of conversation about how small details can make a big difference. There were no radical changes in the international versions, but if you have sharp eyes, you'll notice that there are some alterations during the cupcake scene. In some countries, the cupcakes in Monsters University are decorated with faces instead of text. The reason for changing the cupcakes in different international versions is due to language barriers and cultural nuances. Using text on cupcakes might make sense in English-speaking countries, but in countries that use different characters, like Chinese or Japanese, the use of symbols or faces might be more appropriate. Additionally, in international versions of Monsters University, changes were made to the cupcake decorations and the Scare Games banner. Other international versions replaced the Scare Games banner with Greek letters. Number 19. The heart-wrenching yet touching film Up is forever etched in our memories. Although it might be slightly different depending on where you were when you watched the film. As we know, the protagonist, Carl Fredrickson, attaches thousands of balloons to his house and embarks on a journey to South America. He aims to fulfill his lifelong dream of visiting Paradise Falls with his late wife, Ellie, with the help of an enthusiastic scout named Russell. In the original version of the film, Carl carries a jar with the sticker, Paradise Falls, serving as a reminder of his goal. In the international version of the film, there's a scene where the Paradise Falls sticker on the jar is replaced with an image of a waterfall. But that's not all. Ellie's adventure book was translated for the audience, so you'll notice a difference between, for example, the French and English versions. Did you watch the film up as a child, and what did you think of it? Let me know in those comments. Number 18. Did you know that the characters in your favorite cartoons can look different depending on the country you're in? The film Zootopia is a great example of this phenomenon. Zootopia is an animated Disney film that follows the adventures of a rookie police officer and con artist Fox as they solve a mystery in a world inhabited by anthropomorphic animals. While the film was released worldwide with the same characters and storyline, some details were adjusted to fit different cultural contexts. One of the most notable changes is the appearance of the news anchor animals in different countries. In most countries like America, Canada, and France, a moose was used as a news anchor. In China, the moose was changed to a panda to appeal to the local audience, who consider pandas as a national treasure. In Japan, a tanuki skunk was used because these animals are important to Japanese folklore and culture. An interesting fact is that tanuki skunks are known for their mischievous nature and are often depicted as shape-shifting tricksters in Japanese mythology. Meanwhile, koalas are a symbol of Australia and they decided to add them as a news anchor. Pretty cool additions to the film, don't you think? Number 17. Moana is one of the most successful Disney films ever. With Dwayne The Rock Johnson voicing the demigod Maui, Moana sailed its way to one of Disney's biggest hits. Of course, it also helped that the film had a great story and stunning animations. And let's not forget that incredible soundtrack by Lin-Manuel Miranda. Oh, and it made an astounding $645 million worldwide. But you'll be surprised to know that the film's title, Moana, wasn't used in every country. Moana, which follows the adventures of a young Polynesian girl who sails across the ocean to save her people, has a different name in other countries. In European countries, including Italy, Moana is not called Moana, but instead goes by the name Vaiana. But why such a dramatic change in something that would be integral to the film's plot, you might wonder? In Italy, the change was due to a trademark conflict over the name Moana with an Italian 18-plus actress who shared the same name, Moana Posi. Additionally, Spain had stated that Moana had already been registered as a trademark in several European countries which is why the name was changed to Viana in Europe. Ultimately, the film's story remains the same, whether you're watching Moana or Viana. Number 16. 
The Simpsons is one of the most iconic animated series of all time. It offers a satirical view of American life and follows the misadventures of the Simpson family in the town of Springfield. It's been on television for over 30 years with over 700 episodes. Every time an episode of The Simpsons airs, it goes through hours of editing. In some versions, characters like Bumblebee Man speak in different languages, adding a cultural twist to the show. For example, in the Spanish version of the show, Bumblebee Man speaks with an exaggerated Mexican accent and wears a traditional traje de chato suit. But that's not all. In Japan, The Simpsons is called the Yellow Family and features a special opening sequence with cherry blossoms and other Japanese cultural references. In the French version, the show is known as Les Simpsons, and each character has a different voice actor. And in the Arabic version, scenes featuring alcohol, pork, and other culturally sensitive materials are edited or completely removed. Number 15. Inside Out is a beloved Pixar film that tells the story of a young girl named Riley and her emotions. When it released internationally, it underwent some significant changes. For example, in Japan, the scene where Riley dislikes broccoli was changed to green peppers because broccoli is quite tasty in Japan. And in some countries, the scene where Riley watches soccer was changed to hockey because it's a more popular sport. But that's not all. In some versions of the film, even Bing Bong, Riley's imaginary friend, was adjusted to better fit local customs. In the Italian version, for instance, he plays with gelato instead of candy. And in the French version, his movements are timed to the rhythm of French chansons. And the infamous no trespassing sign he hangs? It's changed to a different letter in different countries. These subtle changes demonstrate the care Pixar takes in localizing its films for different audiences. Number 14. Pokemon is one of the most popular animated series in the world, gaining popularity first in Japan before conquering the Western world. It follows the story of Ash Ketchum, a young Pokemon trainer on his quest to catch and train various types of Pokemon. During this adventure, he makes new friends and participates in various tournaments. However, fans of the series will be surprised to hear that depending on where they catch the show, there may be slight differences. For example, in the Japanese version, Misty, Brock, and Ash are often depicted eating a traditional Japanese snack called onigiri, instead of donuts like the American version. Additionally, in Japan, the apron worn by gym leader Lenora was removed to simply show her outfit, while in the United States, the apron looks different. These changes are examples of how anime producers strive to accommodate local audiences and cultures. Despite these minor differences, Pokemon has an unmistakable universal appeal. It spawned countless video games, trading cards, merchandise, and even a Hollywood film. Which Pokemon were you obsessed with as a child? Let me know in the comments. Number 13. Toy Story is an animated film that tells the story of a group of toys belonging to a boy named Andy. When Buzz Lightyear arrives and threatens the position of Andy's favorite toy, Cowboy Woody, they embark on an exciting adventure. One of the most iconic moments in the film is when Buzz delivers a speech about his mission to protect the galaxy from evil Emperor Zurg. What you may not know is that this scene looks slightly different in other countries. In the United States, Buzz is shown flying towards the black hole of space, emphasizing his mission as a space ranger. However, in other countries, Buzz instead flies towards a globe. It's a small difference, but it shows how different cultures can influence even the smallest details. Number 12. Ratatouille is a classic animated film from 2007 that tells the story of a rat named Remy who aspires to become a chef in a French restaurant. As everybody knows, French cuisine is very important. So it's quite amusing that in the English version of the film, the recipe for ratatouille is printed in English on the folder. But in the original French version, it's printed in French. As if cooking wasn't challenging enough, now you have to be fluid in French to prepare a dish suitable for a rat chef. Despite this quirk, ratatouille is beloved for its charming story about pursuing your dreams and holding on to what you believe in. It's a film that resonates with people everywhere in the world. So if you ever find yourself in Paris dining at a fancy restaurant, think about Remy's dedication to his craft, and perhaps impress the chef with your knowledge of French culinary terms. Number 11. When it comes to the cartoons that differ by country, an obscure but a hilarious example to note is Wreck-It Ralph. For those unfamiliar, Wreck-It Ralph is a film about the journey of a video game villain to become a hero. 
Along the way, he encounters various characters from different video games and embarks on a crazy adventure that makes you laugh and cry. In the Japanese version of the film, the character named Minty Zaki was named after the legendary animator Hayao Miyazaki. However, in America, the character was completely renamed Minty Sakura, complete with a whole new look. Hayao Miyazaki is a popular name in Japanese animation, with the works like Spirited Away and My Neighbor Totoro being world-renowned. Naming a character in Wreck-It Ralph after him is quite an honor. But when the character made her way to Japan, the filmmakers apparently felt that her name, Minty Zaki, didn't quite resonate with the audience. So they changed it to Minty Sakura, which could also be a reference to the cherry blossom trees in Japan. Number 10. For those unfamiliar with the film Cars, it's a Pixar animated film set in a world populated entirely by talking cars. The first film follows Lightning McQueen, an arrogant race car who finds himself stranded in a small town and learns valuable lessons about friendship along the way. In the sequel Cars 2, Lightning and his friends get caught up in an international espionage plot. In different versions of the film, a character named Harv has different voice actors depending on where you are. In the British version, Harv is voiced by none other than Jeremy Clarkson, while in the United States, it's Jeremy Piven. It's like watching two different movies. And that's not all. In various countries where Cars was released, another character named Jeff Corvette is voiced by different professional racers. In the United States, Jeff Corvette is voiced by former NASCAR star Jeff Gordon, while in the United Kingdom, he is voiced by Stephen N. Smith, a British racer. In Brazil, the character is portrayed by Brazilian racing driver Rubens Barrichello, and in Germany, he is voiced by Formula One driver Sebastian Vettel. Number 9. Sausage Party is a film that tells the story of a group of food items in a supermarket. After discovering the truth about their ultimate fate, being consumed by humans, they attempt to escape. Along the way, they encounter various obstacles and hilarious situations that make this film a hit with anyone who enjoys humor. That being said, not every country was on board with the film's unique absurdity. In Sweden, for example, the film was given a green light for children to watch. In other countries, the film was simply banned, from China to Middle Eastern countries like Lebanon and Jordan. Many places had issues with the often graphic depictions in the film. Of course, the fact that Sausage Party was such a controversial film only made it more popular with those who wanted to see it. Number 8. Get ready for takeoff, because we're going to talk about the animated film Planes and how the same character can look completely different depending on where you are. Let's start with Rochelle, the pink plane seen in the film as a tough aviator. In Russia, Rochelle is replaced by Tatiana, a plane adorned with the colors of the Russian flag. In Brazil, Rochelle is changed to Carolina, and in Germany, she becomes Heidi. Of course, all of this is due to cultural differences and the desire to make the characters more relatable to audiences in different regions. For example, in Russia, it makes sense to have a plane that represents the country's national color scheme, while changing Rochelle to Carolina in Brazil could be a nod to the country's popular car brand of the same name. The film follows the journey of Dusty, a small crop dusting plane from a small town who dreams of participating in prestigious air races. Along the way, he encounters a colorful cast of characters, including Rochelle, Tatiana, Carolina, and Heidi, who help him navigate the ups and downs of racing. Number 7. Coco is a Pixar classic about a young Mexican boy who dreams of becoming a musician. In Portugal, the title was changed to Viva Het Leven is in Vist, which sounds more like a film about a student association than a heartwarming story about family, music, and the power of following your dreams. It just doesn't have the same appeal, does it? Of course, part of the reason for these changes is to make the films more accessible to local audiences. In Portugal, for example, Coco is a film meant to appeal to all ages, while Viva Het Leven is in Feast in Brazil is a nod to the country's passionate love affair with music and dance. Additionally, changing the title can help generate excitement and get people talking because who wouldn't want to watch a film with a catchy title? Number 6. Mickey Mouse is a popular character who's been entertaining audiences worldwide for almost a century. However, in Italy, the name was changed to Topolino which sounds more like a fancy pasta dish than a cartoon character. And to make it even more confusing, the Italian publisher Mario Nabini decided to create his own Mickey cartoons, featuring Topolino in a whole range of new characters. But no matter what you call him, Mickey Mouse is a classic character with a heart of gold. 
from his early days as a mischievous troublemaker to his current status as a beloved icon and fun adventurer. He's the one who proves that even in the toughest situations, it's possible to come out on top if you have just a little bit of courage. And while the name may be different, the spirit of Mickey Mouse still lives on in Italy and around the world. Number 5. Doraemon is a popular Japanese cartoon character that has been making audiences laugh and cry for over 50 years. In the United States, Doraemon was dubbed in English with the same name, but with an entirely new voice cast and different artistic style. The American version of Doraemon still revolves around a robotic cat from the future who helps a boy named Nobita, but with various adjustments to make it more understandable for the Western audience. But whether you're watching Doraemon in Japan or the United States, one thing remains the same. The show's charming blend of humor and science fiction adventures. From time-traveling robot battles to wild space adventures, Doraemon is a show that appeals to audiences of all ages and backgrounds. And while there may be some differences in how the show is presented in different countries, the core themes of friendship, perseverance, and believing in yourself remain universal. Number 4. If you grew up in the 80s or 90s, chances are you're familiar with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Whether you're a fan of the original series, the movies, or the more recent shows, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles have been entertaining audiences for over three decades with their energetic antics and humor. But did you know that in the United States, the show underwent a few changes to make it suitable for British viewers? The beloved nunchucks of Michelangelo were replaced with boring old ropes. In fact, the decision was made due to strict laws in the United Kingdom regarding the depiction of violence in children's programs. Nunchucks were classified as a weapon and were deemed inappropriate for a children's show. As a result, the producers decided to replace the nunchucks with a pair of ropes that he could use to immobilize his enemies. And on top of that, the word ninja was considered too violent for a children's show and was replaced with hero. Number 3. The Incredibles tell the story of a family of superheroes who are forced to live in secrecy due to pesky laws against vigilantes. But when a villain sets out to destroy all superheroes, it's up to Mr. Incredible, Elastigirl, and their superpowered children to save the day. But did you know that in France, the name of the villain in the first Incredibles film is different from the English version? That's right, instead of Bon Voyage, he's called Follow More. While the exact reason is not entirely clear, it's believed to be related to cultural differences and wordplay. In French, Falamore translates to crazy love, which is a play on words referencing a character's name in the classic film Doctor Strange Love, or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb. This may have been seen as a clever reference that would resonate with the French audience, while Bomb Voyage do not carry the same cultural significance. Number 2. In Shrek 2, viewers follow the adventures of Shrek, Fiona, Donkey, and Puss in Boots as they venture to the kingdom of Far, Far Away, and where Fiona's parents, King Harold and Queen Lillian, reside. The I Need a Hero scene in Shrek is one of the most iconic scenes from the film in a non-ironic way. That being said, some things have been slightly changed. In the British version of Shrek 2, the voice of the fairy godmother is provided by none other than Joanne Rivers, while in the American version, she is played by Jennifer Saunders. What makes Shrek 2 particularly interesting is that the voice of the ugly stepsister character varies between the British and American versions of the film. In the American version, Larry King provided the voice for the ugly stepsister, while in the British version, it was none other than Jonathan Ross who did the voiceover. As for Dora the Ugly Stepsister, viewers might not even recognize her when comparing the British and American versions of the character. The portrayal of the character varies quite significantly between the different countries, with the characters having different voice, personality, and appearance. In the British version of the fairy tale film, for example, Dora is voiced by Kate Thornton, while in the American version, the more well known comedian Joanne Rivers provided the voiceover. Number 1. Gravity Falls is an animated series about the twins Dipper and Mabel Pines, who spend the summer with their great uncle Stan in the mysterious town of Gravity Falls. Together they encounter strange creatures and paranormal events as they unravel the town's many secrets. This cartoon is popular in multiple countries, but in Russia, the same cartoon looks completely different from the original. Instead of the charming, playful atmosphere of the original, this version features crudely drawn, unattractive characters and awkward dialogues that make every viewer cringe, at least according to the internet. It seems like they've turned everything that was good about the original upside down. 
What the creators of Gravity Falls have said about this is unclear. However, fans of the show shared their opinions on the Russian ripoff, with many finding it amusingly bad. What's your favorite cartoon? Let us know in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos we've made, click one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.